And then after you send the whole order to the kitchen, you may want to add it, the ticket. And if the customer want to pay them, maybe the customer want to split the ticket or split the payments. So in that situation, when you go to the record to find the specific orders to do some steps. And in our demo, we can see on the main page there is a button named record. And on click this button, we will go to the record page. Uh, in this page, we can find all of the orders we have on the system. And on the top of this page, we have the time range. So we can just choose the time range to see all of the order during this time. And on the right side, we have some order status or order type or payment types, and we can filter them to see the same order status ticket. And if you want to edit a ticket, we just choose them. Open that. If you want to add more items, click Edit. So back into the menu page, so we can just choose them. And if you, and we can add item. And if you want to void something, you can choose item and click this void one. And click the send. And if you void something, the system will info to type some dish void reason, or you can just click this choose and choose one of the reasons and click the void. And if you order the new item, so we need to send them to the kitchen again. And this is how to add a ticket. And if you want to split a ticket, we can just click the split here and go to the split page and we can split this whole order evenly and click this even and enter number click the okay then the whole order was split into the three sub orders and if you want to undo this you can click this undo and we can just see the whole order by dish and just choose them. Actually, this plus sign name add sub order. And the item you leave on the right side will share to all of the sub orders. So we can see there is some orders share between four orders. And then we can settle them one by one. And then if you want to split the payments, we can just open one all of the sub orders click settle and we can see there is amount for the whole orders and if you want to split the payments you can just change the number here for example for now this order is 91 29 and we can just change the number here for maybe 50 by cash so we can click the pay and then the rest amount of the order is 41.29, so we can um, decide to pay with still with cash or with card or any other payment types. And then after we pay all of the orders, we have some payment 
tickets on the right side. And if the customer adds some tip, so we can click the tip here to add tip. The same step for the credit card payments and add the tip add the tip for the orders. And then if you uh if you just pay the orders and uh, already added the tip and you don't want to anybody to change it because if I just click the tip, I still can change the number here. So in case of that situation, we can click this daily close to close this ticket. If we do that, nobody can re-add any info of this order. Even I want to void the payment type, it's still said the order cannot be modified when it's closed. But now it's closed. So only we can do is just print the receipt. And the, yeah, this is how to uh, close the uh, tickets. And we can just add the tip one by one, or we can click this close. Uh, in this daily daily close mode, all of the order will show in tables, and in this daily close page, we can just uh, check the all of the orders to change driver or set back cash, or if you want to add a credit credit card payment tips, you can click this add a credit card payment tips and then all of the credit card orders will show here in tables and in this cash tip or tip column you can add all of the tips that customer sign on the receipt ticket and after you type all of the tip here you can click this add all tips right button and then all of the tips add to the tickets and then if your credit card machine have integrated with this um with this POS system and we need go to the main page to do this batch batch is send out the money you receive by your credit card machine and send them to the credit card company. Uh, after the company review all of the money, they will send this money back to your bank account. That means if you don't do the badge, you will not receive your credit card money. Click the badge and uh, enter the password who has this badge permission and follow the instruction. And then you will finish the badging. And uh, uh, there is two important things about credit card batching. The first one is you should uh, make sure all of the orders are paid. That means you, if you have even one order is unpaid, you cannot do the credit card batch because the system uh, doesn't know if this order will pay by credit card. So you need to pay all of the orders and then you need to add all of the credit card tips to the credit card orders. That is the second important thing. And if you don't add the credit card tips to the order and then you do the batch, you will only receive the uh, order total, but you will not receive the credit card tips. Uh, credit card tips if you don't add them so every day before your badge you should make sure all of the orders are paid and all of the credit card tips are added to each order and then you can do the badge and usually the badge processing time is 
three business day, and if you do the batch before ten p.m. EST, you will receive your money the next business day. And if you open the credit card account, and you will receive a PCI questionnaire, uh, email, and this is a security questionnaire that provided by the credit card company and you should do that within three months to per, um to protect your credit card safety and if you don't do that the credit card company will charge you some fine monthly uh, uh i think the fine is 29.95 and they will charge you monthly unless you do the PCR questionnaire. So if you receive that, please do that within three months. And this is the credit card battery and some daily clothes we need to do. We need to know. And the next part, 